Hi all and welcome. This is Artsu. Today we have a tactic from an amateur game. It's a mini game and the tactic derives after knight takes e4. So in this position it is right to move and win material. If you want to find the solution, please pause the video and continue in 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Let's have a look at this position. The black steed on e4 uh, clearly is uh, vulnerable. Also the weak point of black, the f7 pawn, is already attacked once. And we have a very nice open d-file for the white queen. This gives us the solution of queen d1 to d5. Uh, it hits the knight standing on e4 and it also threatens to checkmate and black cannot do anything about it um, let's say black tries to hold both and moves the knight to g5 and white simply takes the knight renews the threat and uh, black is even worse because of the added pressure by the g5 knight black cannot take the knight because then he will immediately be checkmated Another try is queen to e7, and then simply the knight comes off. In the actual game, uh, black found the best move and played bishop to e6, with the idea that after the white queen takes on e4, then d6 d5 forks both the bishop and queen. However, white now has queen takes b7, and after bishop takes and queen takes rook. It is uh, clear who is on top here. That's it for today. Well, thank you for watching. The next video we will uh, level up a bit and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.